Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about Uniport, Antiport and Simport. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment and share my video. So in the last lecture, we have talked about active transport and passive transport. And we have seen that passive transport of any molecule occurs when it crosses the biological membrane from higher concentration to the lower concentration. That means down the concentration gradient and it does not require any energy. And active transport of any molecule occurs when it crosses the biological membrane from lower concentration to the higher concentration. That means against the concentration gradient. Hence, it requires energy from ATP. Let's talk about uniport first. So, in this transport technique, a single type of substance like glucose in this case crosses the plasma membrane. In this particular case, the concentration of glucose is higher in extracellular space that is in the blood system and lower in the cytosol of liver cell. Hence, glucose enters cytosol from this extracellular space down the concentration gradient. It is a passive transport since it does not require any energy from ATP hydrolysis. Let's talk about Simport now. So in this transport technique, two types of substrates cross the plasma membrane in the same direction. Example is sodium glucose symporter that is found in nephron of our kidney. Here the sodium ions will move down the concentration gradient that means from the higher concentration of extracellular space to the lower concentration of cytosol. And glucose molecules will move against the concentration gradient that means from lower concentration of extracellular space to the higher concentration of cytosol. Since the movement of glucose occurs against the concentration gradient, it is an active transport. But in this case, it does not take energy from ATP hydrolysis. Instead, it uses the energy of the sodium gradient. Let's talk about antiport now. In this transport technique, two types of substrates cross the plasma membrane in the opposite direction. Example is sodium potassium antiporter which is present in every cell of our body. It maintains low intracellular sodium and high intracellular potassium. This transporter moves 3 sodium out and 2 potassium in against the concentration gradient. It is an active transport and hence requires energy from ATP hydrolysis.